common cancer in American men, with one in nine being diagnosed during his lifetime. Yeah, and this month, new screening recommendations are out. The U.S. Preventative Services Task, Task Force now believes testing can help save lives for certain groups. If it was not for my doctor, my f primary care physician, picking that up, I, I wouldn't have known. I probably wouldn't be here today. Kevin Campbell, almost 70 years old, is a survivor of prostate cancer. I was diagnosed originally in 2003. This after his PSA screening began going up. If you can keep your PSA at zero for 10 years, uh, then you're considered cured. Dr. Will Carter says numbers between four and seven are concerning levels. We want PSA screening to pick this up long before the patient has any difficulty. Signs and symptoms, Dr. Carter says, often mean the cancer has advanced and spread. We went ahead and made the decision to have the uh, prostate removed. The prostate is beneath, directly beneath the bladder in the very lower pelvis of men. He says men 55 to 70 years old should have PSA screening each year. It's a simple blood test, as if one would draw a blood test for cholesterol. High-risk patients include African Americans and men with family members diagnosed with prostate cancer. The highest risk should have a PSA at age 40. The individual who has three or four first degree relatives. Dr. Carter says PSA screening saves lives. In 2012, this government agency said PSA is of no value. This month, they reversed their decision, and they're now saying that PSA is of value. A value, at least for his patient. Kevin Campbell. Far better than being alive, enjoying my grandkids every day. Yeah. How, you know, how would I not want to have yeah. that?